All right, here we are, uh, MDTV, Lamar Bird Jr. here with uh, Tim Durning. Uh, actually, Tim, I met you, I guess, two, three years ago before I even got into the sport, yep. and you were already kind of competing. You actually got into it kind of late. So if you could, just give people a background, uh, your contest history, and uh, what's next for Mr. Uh, Tim Durning? Well, started competing at uh, 41, uh, and I'm 47 now. Uh, so about six years. Yeah, about six years. I've uh, been training off and on my whole life. Uh, you know, yeah. life will change some things for you. And then at about 36, I guess, is when I really started getting serious. Um, took an injury at 40. I tore my pet. And I talked about competing up to that point, and that was when I made the decision to actually go ahead and compete because I realized that I wasn't indestructible <laughs> anymore. But you could actually all damage something and not be able to do it anymore. So yeah. up to that yeah. point, all I'd done is run my mouth. Uh, competed in the All South <laughs> and, uh, and took second place in, uh, in Masters, and then just kept competing after that. Done you know several shows. Now I'm competing on a national level now, uh, and really enjoying it. You know, it's trying to slowly creep into a top ten. Probably gonna. You know, this year, yeah. looking to move into heavyweight for the first time. I've competed at light heavy, but as you know, at 5'9", I'm not, I'm not a real threat right now. Uh, I look very athletic up there with the, with the monsters at 5'4". Sa, yep. Yeah. Yep. So you, you did about two or three shows this year, correct? Yes. What, what, what shows were there and how did you place? I did uh, the Tennessee, uh, Battle, out, Battle Out the River. I took second in light heavy in the Open, and I won the Masters. Uh, so it was a good showing for you. Yeah, absolutely. And qualified, you know, both in the Open and, and for the Masters, obviously. And then I did the North American as well and took 11th place there. Okay. With, so even with, uh, even almost with a, top 10. Yeah, almost. <laughs> I was one better than last year. So uh, that's a win. <laughs> But yeah, it was, it was yeah. great. I really enjoyed it. I was real happy with with the way I looked. I uh, have a very good trainer right now who's really keeping me full, Phil Hernan. Yeah. Right. Uh, and real good at, at not letting me get, you know, you always try to come in mm -hmm. as conditioned as you can. Right. And a lot of times, especially in those level five shows, you can end up coming in a little bit skinny. Right. You know, a little yeah. stringy. Yeah. And uh, he's done real good at keeping me as full as he can. Yeah. So. yeah. I've noticed you guys definitely played that fine line of between almost coming in too skinny, but then uh, when I saw your stage photos, I thought, holy shit. Yeah. yeah he, he, he didn't yeah. mess up. He, he definitely got it right this time. Come on. So uh, I think whenever you won that show, uh, you saw pictures look good. And uh, North American, you had a small little little mishap still, there. Still, just a little bit. Just yeah. a little bit, but you still looked better than previous times before. Move it. Yeah. Come on. Keep moving the shit. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Let's work. That's a. Let's work. That's a. Ready? Go up. Yep. That's me. Ah. 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 Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, move it. Ah, come on. Drive right. it up. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hmm. Three, up. That's me. Here we go. Let's get some good reps in. Drive it up. Ah. Come on. Come on. Move that shit. Move, ah. move it. Ah. Get that blood in there. Ah. Come on. Ah! Woo. Yeah, baby. Up. Yeah. Uh. Good. Uh. Devin, move it. Just move it. Uh. Just move it. Come on, I'm gonna help uh. you. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Right, right. But um, in town, you're, you're the guy to contact. Yeah. This this guy <laughs> runs uh the mill service. The mill delivery service and uh, tell people about that, kind of maybe how it got started and what, what you're doing now with it. Flex, Flex Foods is my life raft. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I got Digbo over here <laughs> chowing down on yeah, some. Yeah. <laughs> we got a meal right now. That's a steak and, yeah, he's all, steak and potatoes. Steak and potatoes. Yeah, how can you go wrong with that? <laughs> so tell people about that service and uh, well, kind of how it runs. Uh, executive chef for you know 20 plus years. That's how I made my living. Uh, decided to say screw it to the corporate world and I opened up my own restaurant. 
You're your own boss. Yeah, well, I was. <laughs> Unfortunately, uh, you know, the economy yeah. took it down. I didn't plan on that part and uh, ended up losing my restaurant. And uh, Flex Foods became a life raft for me. I'd already started it. I used to right. come in, you know, when I was getting ready, I'd come in and eat my, I was eating, yeah. prepping my own foods. Another competitor saw that and asked if I could do it for them. Right. And I was already doing it. I had a restaurant to work out of, so it was, it was relatively yeah. easy. Uh, then, you know, obviously the restaurant went down. I was working it out of my house. Uh, you know, a lot of personal stuff going on. I had a foreclosure going on. I had a bankruptcy, all this stuff. Yeah. And just working out of that, destroying my kitchen at that, at that house. And uh, we grew from there. Grew to, you know, 10, 12, 20, 40, 50. So, uh, uh, about how many people do you have right now with Flex? 160 uh, clients right now. That's it? Yeah. No. <laughs> yeah that's all. That's all. No. And, you know, four, uh, three, four, five meals a day for each one. So you're looking right. at five, 600 meals a day that we put out. We have our own kitchen. Right. Uh, you know, we've got a, a, a website, flexfoods.com. <laughs> a shameless plug. Uh, but anyway, you know, it's just in Tallahassee right now, but we're looking to expand. And, and uh, I think it's a, it's a really good alternative for people, for competitors. Yeah, well, I was going to say it's not also for competitors, but you also have uh, regular business people. Yeah, just on, 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 on your, on your, just people want to eat healthy, correct? People don't want to eat, eat, you know, fast food on a regular basis. Right. I, know, I know I was about to name a specific one, but it doesn't really matter. It, it's so easy to get locked into that uh, fast food thing where you just go because they're on every corner. Yeah. So if we're delivering your food. Especially in Tallahassee. Oh yeah, absolutely. And these the yeah, the kids at the college, these yeah. kids don't want to eat like that. Right. Believe it or not, yeah. you know I know that's that's a little counterintuitive when when you look at it, but most of them want to eat healthier. They want they want yeah. they want to look better. You know, LBN that's a big thing, right? Yeah. Look, look better naked. <laughs> I mean, I only want McDonald's at 3 a.m. But uh, so there's been something else. Yeah. <laughs> it ain't just a fast food. Yeah. So. All day. Uh, all day. Come on. Hey, uh, come on. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Get her. There you go. Come on. Up. So, um, as you're getting older, your training is definitely changing. So, and you and Dick did pretty high volume today, but typically you're a high volume kind of guy. Can you go, go about your training and maybe talk about that? I, I have to be. I try to get some good uh, heavy working sets in, but then I'll start dropping the weight and going for the more volume. Uh, just, you know, I've suffered a few injuries along the way as, yeah. as we do, we get a little bit older. Uh, I'm not built for powerlifting. You know, right. I'm, I'm small jointed, uh, uh, I'm more articulate. Right. So my training has to be uh, more of a volume style, yeah. you know, and everybody knows my saying about leg, leg day doesn't start till after the first hundred reps. Yeah, exactly. You know? uh, yeah, I, I've seen some pretty crazy drop sets this guy's done on the leg yeah. press. I guess starting from seven plates working down then working back up. Yeah. But uh, I haven't witnessed it yet, but yeah, so you're typically high volume. Because yeah. you're more about, I guess, like the, uh, getting a pump in the muscle and Get stuff like that. as much blood in there as I can. Yeah, we've got to find other ways to grow because I can't just go heavy all the time anymore. Yeah. Although Phil, Phil started me back up on some heavier sets. Uh, but a little yeah. less, I guess, more of a DC type training. Right. A little less volume. Yeah. But I always go back to my to my high volume training right yeah. now, just because the joints and everything it just don't take it as well as they used to. Yeah, definitely. Getting to be old, man. <laughs> Elbows up, good stretch on the way down, fight it. There you go. Tear it up, tear it up. We'll do one more. I need some of that tricep. Your arms inspired me. It's like I need some wolf arms. Oh man. 
fucking ache. Uh, move them, move them. Let's go, baby. Damn. So we'll wrap this up, give the people uh, the website for Flex Foods one more time. Uh, flexfoods.co. And, and your contact information, anyone wants to meet you, contact you? Uh, Timothy. So, oh, is it on the website? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, everything's on the website. So there you guys go. If you're in the Tallahassee area, um, if you're familiar with Flex Foods, now you know what it is. Just got to contact Tim Durning, uh, wrapping up here with MD, Lamar Bird, Tim Durning. Thank you. Thank you.